from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. China-based machine manufacturer XCMG launched a diverse range of specialist machinery in August in Reimsich, Johannesburg. Jonathan Roden tells us more. XCMG South Africa was launched in South Africa in 2007 through a partnership with XCMG in China and supplies industrial cranes to the local market. However, the launch of these new machines furthers the company's vision to become the leading brand of construction and mining equipment in Africa. XCMG South Africa Vice General Manager Alex Zhang tells us why the company chose South Africa. XMG is the largest construction equipment manufacturer in China and ranks the number five in the world. South African market is a high very big potential for construction equipment. So XMG is for XMG, South Africa market is one very, very important market for us. South Africa is a vital market as it is the financial and economic center of Africa and the stable political environment provides a safe investment environment. Zhang also highlights the company's plans in terms of the local mining industry. We also concerned that uh, Africa is a lot of mines such as in Pumlanga, uh, Limpopo, Northern Cape, and we will set XM, XMG we will set up a branch in Middleburg, Pumlanga, Pumlanga in the November of this year. So we will mainly focus on mining industries customers. All XCMG products are supported by extensive quality guarantees. XCMG in China uses world-class production lines with robot welding and painting facilities, as well as the best testing line for construction equipment, which ensures all quality ratings are achieved before export. XCMG South Africa National Sales Manager Dion Krobler explains the company's plans and its product applications. We know with XCMG as a challenge, um, new scope, new product on the market, uh, been launched today and already got sales from customers that look at the product and that know that the product is affordable um, but very good product, reliable. So we're going to focus on Pumalonga, to start Pumalonga, um, Gauteng, branches in Cape Town, then we're eventually going to look at uh, Northern Cape, Eastern Cape, Namibia, KwaZulu Natal. So there will be branches as well as dealers and agents to sell the product. We, our target is the mines, construction uh, companies, light, heavy duty, uh, companies with plant hire, where we're going to sell them the plants and they renting it out. We're going to go for um, open cost mainly, although we've got products for underground as well. So with all the products range that we've got, there's not one customer that we have to skip. We can go to every single one of them and we've got a product for every application in South Africa for the conditions, very good, very reliable, um, yet affordable. I'm Jonathan Roden, reporting for Crema Media in Rodeport, Johannesburg. Other news making headlines this week, Schneider Electric and BMW partner on the i3's charging technology. More South African engineers are needed to improve social welfare and growth points distribution growth is up 8.3% as the company experiences one of its busiest years. BMW South Africa has reiterated plans to launch the i3 electric vehicle and the i8 hybrid car in South Africa in March or April 2015, while also announcing that the automotive manufacturer has partnered with global energy management company Schneider Electric on the charging technology for the i3. Today uh, I can see our new uh, partnership with BMW. Uh, we are a strong believer of this uh, mobility and in the future we'll probably use more electric car, hybrid car. And then Schneider has a world partnership with BMW to equip uh, this country with uh, wall infrastructure, with electric infrastructure to make sure that you don't feel scared to have an electric vehicle. And that's probably one of the uh, contribution we make uh, to get the cars a bit less polluted but uh, more eco-friendly. Science and Technology Minister Naledi Pando said South Africa didn't produce enough graduate engineers, which was worrying as good engineering made a significant contribution to social welfare. We looked at a recent 
survey by the South African Institute of Civil Engineers, SAFE, and it shows that we have fewer engineers than doctors in South Africa. Now, some might say it's good to have more doctors, so why are you worried about it? This is, unfortunately, this low number of engineers is a true fact for most developing countries in the world, not just South Africa. And interestingly, in the developed world, the situation is reversed. They have more engineers and fewer doctors. It's fascinating. Why, Why must we be concerned about this? Well, good engineering makes a significant contribution to social welfare. So if you have a lot of engineers, you create the conditions for fewer health problems. JSE listed real estate investment trust Growth Point Properties achieved distribution growth of 8.3% during the year ended June 30, outperforming market guidance of 7.2%. The one that most of our investors uh, focus on almost exclusively would be the, the growth in the distributions for the 12-month under review, where we're showing uh, an increase of 8.3% to 161.3 cents for, for the year. I think that is slightly ahead of what uh, we guided the market at the commencement of this financial year. Uh, which was at the, the 7, just over 7, 7.2 odd percent. So uh, we're very pleased to, uh, you know, to show slightly better growth than, than what we had initially guided the market to. Uh, that takes the average for the five years uh, as well, takes us to about 7.1 percent. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.